The time is 6.30 p.m. You've taken the same route you always do every day. You get to your gate and out of nowhere, three guys pull up from behind you with a knife at hand. And just like that, you become another number. A statistic of yet another woman has been robbed outside the gate of her complex at knife point. South Africa has one of the highest crime rates in the world. Murder, rape, assault, and either violent crimes being some of the leading crimes compared to other petty and non-violent crimes. Although crime could never be justified, there are some leading factors that have influenced people to using crime as a way of feeding themselves. Crime researcher Eldred de Klerk concluded that poverty and poor service delivery directly impact crime levels, while disparities between rich and poor are also to blame. Street robbery is the most common type of robbery committed on public streets, with or without weapons. Pain may or may not be inflicted on the victim, but it does affect them more than we'd like to believe. The psychological effects thereafter are crippling. The initial shock, feeling helpless and scared. Soon those turn to grief, sadness, despair, mistrust and vulnerability. The sleepless nights, nightmares and panic attacks are what makes the experience even more traumatic. Trust me, I know. According to Statistics South Africa, the overall crime levels were down in the 2019-2020 period compared to the year prior. This was mainly caused by both fewer crimes reported in communities as well as fewer crimes detected through police activity. Now, most people question why people don't report crimes to the police without even understanding that out of 21 categories of crime committed by criminals, only 17 are reported by the public and four of those categories are due to police activity. Now, I'm not the only woman who's ever been mugged on Luke Street. And it's very sad to see that women have to fend for themselves because no one else is there to fight for them. And that's something that really needs to be looked at because we are in danger. Each and every day, a woman is a victim of crime. It's time for women to take matters into their own hands or will perish in the hands of men.